Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door. Baby, pull me closer. Just got done with the course in spinal tapping and it was quite fun to be very honest. But the teacher or the professor was speaking Danish so I didn't get shite of the theory behind it but I did manage to perform or pull off the practical part of, the, of spinal tapping. And yeah of course I know that theory is pretty important as well because you need to know when to spinal tap a patient and what are the things or cells or proteins, glucose, all that stuff that you need to look for in a, in a sample of the spinal fluid. Um, but all that theory stuff even though I didn't get anything from the Danish professor, um, I can still go home and read all that theory stuff or just, you know, um, search that on the internet. So I, I don't think that's going to be a problem. But the main part was to be able to practically perform the spinal tapping, which I think I have pretty much mastered. Mastered, I think, yeah, mastered by now. <laughs> now we have a two hour break before our next clinical group. And I have basically nothing to do in these two hours except for making this vlog and having, having some food. And food reminds me of the fact that the, that the rest of my group um, went to the canteen to grab some food. Um, whereas I, being the daisy person I am, I always have my food with me. So I'm just sitting here right now all alone, uh, having nothing to talk to or nobody to talk to. And hence, I'm talking to you guys. This place right here is like the fourth um, floor of our hospital and it's like dedicated to students so it's a pretty chill place to be and a pretty chill place to hang around so we have a couple of um, um, study rooms over here like I can show you around so I have never studied here before but I, I've seen people who sit here and study because I prefer to study at home by uh, at least during these days during the pandemic and here we have some other rooms like uh, seminar rooms etc and then we have some coffee machines and all that stuff and some lockers um, and we also have a few rooms where we can sleep and you know spend the night if we are um, staying at the hospital and this by the way is Wilde, she's in my group as well. Do you want to say anything Wilde? Hi people! <laughs> and these student rooms that I just mentioned are pretty high quality or top notch I think uh, according to my standards. We have a couple of beds and then we have a desk where we can study and then some window for that good ass view and then we have a computer over here as well. Um, also, this is where the magic happens, right? This is where the magic happens. Now by this point, I'm starting to feel a bit hungry, so I'm going to sit down and just have some food. Um, because we still have approximately um, 110 minutes to kill. No, I think less than that. 90, approximately 90 minutes to kill. So yeah, I'll sit here and have some food and I'll speak to you guys later. That will mean everything, yeah, everything to me. Just had lunch, and in case you haven't noticed, all these other people right here, they have, they are, they're in scrubs. They're wearing white. How about me, being the lazy chimp that I am, I uh, did not have the time to change into scrubs because <laughs> I had to run or rush all the way to the hospital because me being the lazy chimp that I am, yet again, um, I'm always late. So yeah, I'm just gonna go downstairs now and change to scrubs before our clinical small group or click a group start. Stormy weather I see a tear that begins to fall from your eyes Alright guys, so we just got done with the small group um, it was in nev ne neurology and um, we saw a couple of patients, one with Parkinson's and all that stuff so it was quite um, interesting to be very honest. But at this point I'm starting to feel a bit tired now and uh, it's been a very long day. Uh, fun day but a very long day so I think that would be the perfect time to end this vlog and as I've said previously as well please let me know if you enjoy these sort of short um, vlogs and if you want to see more of these because nowadays because of the pandemic I don't really get to film uh, a lot of stuff uh, because it's not very often that we are at the hospital doing practical stuff 
So I just try to cash in on any possibilities or any opportunities that I get to film these vlogs. All right. So please let me know in the comments down below uh, if you found uh, this vlog useful and would like to see more vlogs of the same type. And by the way, just in case you don't know, I recently started this email newsletter, the Monday Mantra, uh, and you can just subscribe to that uh, by going to the link in my description. So all you need to do is just type type out your email address, and then simply you can subscribe to my email newsletter, which is going to be every single Monday about live growth and basically my mantra is living a life that will be worth remembering 10 20 30 years from now so it's completely free of cost so make sure you check that out or just subscribe to my weekly email newsletter to receive a exclusive email from me every single Monday all right thanks for watching guys I hope you found the video useful I'll see you in the next video take care Peace.